I need to stop singing, but what can't stop, won't stop. You're here with me, Sam Alwadani on BBC Radio London, asking for your weird, spooky, bizarre, unexplained stories. I was just saying I have one and that I went for a photo shoot in Nunhead Cemetery. Pictures came out. Someone is behind me in the pictures. Head over to BBC Radio London Instagram to find out uh, what I'm talking about. We've posted the picture there. But I want to know if you have any unexplained, weird mysteries, things that have happened that you just don't have any answers for. Right now, I've got Marcus from Fulham on the line. Marcus, how are you? Hello. Hello. It's been a long, well, long time. No, we only spoke a few days ago. I'm very well. How are you? I was going to say, we spoke just the other day. I am oh, very well, and it is a pleasure to hear from you again, Marcus. Oh, okay. oh, you say the nicest things. Well, listen, I've been told that I am very charming. Maybe it's true, yeah, yeah. or maybe I just yeah, yeah. genuinely like talking to you. I would say it's yeah. the latter. It, it, and it's authenticity as well. It's, that's the best thing to have. Ah, oh, thank yeah. you, Marcus. Listen, we're talking <laughs> mysteries. Have you got one for me? Right, yeah. Yes, I'm a crystal healer, among other things. A and, crystal um, healer, okay. Yeah, and, and, and I use that as part of my LGBT relationship psychology business. And with, I mix the two together. And one day, a few years ago, I went out and I bought a, a, a white dendritic opal, otherwise known as, uh, well, it's called a white opal, but also called dendritic opal, also known as merlinite. So, so this, is a speci- this is a specific type of crystal? It's a particular, specific type of crystal, okay. and if you, if, for the people who want to put sort of like brand names on it, they call it merlinite, but actually it is dendritic opal. Okay. Anyway, right, so you, people need to know that so that they know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, we went to the shop, bought this stone, put it in the cabinet across to my right here, and half an hour later I wanted to go and have a look at it, and it wasn't there. I said to my husband, oh, excuse me, husband, have you done something just to annoy me? And he said, absolutely not. <laughs> Anyway, so the, the stones had disappeared. We boom, then, boom, boom. and yeah, he definitely boom, boom, boom. wasn't pranking you. No, no, okay. no. You, you're, you're, you're a lovely researcher. Asked the same thing, and I, I know when he does. We're things just like covering that. all bases. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. But I, 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 the energetic nature from what he said back said to me, no, he wasn't telling okay. occupied. Anyway, so we went to the pub, had a few beers, came home. And it reappeared, and it was sitting right at the front. Anyway, in between um, those two periods, I phoned up my brother's girlfriend in Australia, and I said, you're an you're a avid crystal healer. Can you tell me what happened? And she said, oh, don't worry about it, Marcus. It just didn't like where it was, so it probably disappeared off into another dimension temporarily. When you came back, it had given you the information that you needed to know. Just put it somewhere else. So, and did you move it somewhere else? I did. A few years, a year or so later, I had a crystal cabinet built specifically for my stones and for, for what I do in my business now, and it's been happily sitting there ever since. However, last week, da, 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 yeah. it came out for the first time since me putting it from the right side to the left side into the new crystal cabinet, and it was used as part of my therapy on that day for a brand new client who has turned out to be the most magnificent person who I'm currently counselling. And it did, I don't know what magic it did, but that was the one that came out of my cabinet, stuck in my hand, and I'm sitting on the table while we're having a yak about stuff. Wow. Well, there you go. This is, this is, and you this don't, is the... And for all of the, you know, yeah. pessimists listening, you don't live with anyone. There's no way the cabinet could have been knocked. No, and maybe it's just no, moved no. with someone doing a trick. No. No, no. and, and I'm, I, I would love to say yes, but it's a very boring answer of no. Wow. <laughs> so you put the crystal in, nobody moved it. Half an hour later, the crystal was gone, unexplained. Go it went out to yeah. the pub, came back, crystal's back in a different place. Ah, yeah, correct. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. No, good. No, no. Came, no, sorry. Came back into the same place where I saw where I put it. Oh, it, right. it, it, it but it was just telling you place. a message that it didn't want to be there. Well, um, according to my brother's girlfriend, yes. Ah, I also found another friend of mine in West Drayton, and he said something similar. So I had two conversations with two different people, one in London, one in Australia, and they came up with the same answer. Wow. And maybe the crystal is, just disappeared into a different dimension and then... Yeah, but, 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 but it, was the cas- it was the casuality. Is that a word, casuality? The, yeah, the, casuality. The, uh, casual, the, casual, the, the casual nature. nature. The, the casual Casualness. nature of... But the casualness, you know, it was just the casualness of the way that they both described it in such similar terms. You know, oh, don't worry, Marcus, it just disappeared and went off into another dimension, as if as if I should know that. As if that was totally normal. <laughs> normal. Well, well now, now I understand that it's totally normal, and when I talk to my friends and family about that, they oh, God, Marcus is just having another one of these crystal moments.
us, but actually, no, it's not really me, it's them. Yeah, and do you know what? It's funny when these things yeah. happen because I'm not a, a crystal person. I'm not a supernatural yeah. person. I'm never I'm trying. Not I'm, I'm not never either. trying. I, try, to, I mean, I really try. Yeah, I'm never yeah, trying so. to talk to spirits yeah. or anything like that. I'm not yeah. one. Like, if I see something yeah. abnormal, I kind of exhaust all possibilities because yeah. I think there's definitely yeah. an explanation somehow yeah. for it. Yeah. But this yeah. picture that I've yeah. got, did you see my picture on Instagram? No, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm about to have a look at it. Head on over to BBC Radio London Instagram and you'll see what I mean. There is no explanation for it and everyone yeah. was the yeah. same. Maybe it was this, maybe it was that. And I was like, no, no, yeah. honestly. I love that. Okay, so the, the mystery of the disappearing crystal, the disappearing and reappearing yeah. crystal. Yeah. Marcus, yeah. I absolutely love that. Thank you for calling in and You're sharing welcome. that with me. Oh, Don't okay. forget, yeah. Valentine's Day is on Friday, and we'll find out oh. if your husband was listening when we when we chat on Monday. You you want me to you want me to chat you want me to find you on Monday, don't you? I do. I want to find out right. if it was, okay. if it yeah. happened. Yeah, I won't be on I the will. show on Monday. To be fair, but phone in yeah. and tell them anyway because they'll they'll tell me. Okay, okay, I will do. Yeah. All right, have a gorgeous day, Marcus. Bye bye.